Have you ever wondered how a band from the quiet town of Des Moines, Iowa, managed to shake the heavy metal world to its core? It's a story that begins in the mid-90s, far away from the bright lights and big stages that Slipknot would come to dominate. Here in the heart of America, the seeds of anarchy were sown by two visionaries, Sean Crahan and Joey Jordison. Crahan, a percussionist with a wild imagination, and Jordison, a drummer with a knack for rhythm and a love for heavy metal, found common ground in their shared passion for music. Together they formed the nucleus of what would become one of the most influential bands of their generation. In the early days, Slipknot was more of an idea than a band, a concept fueled by a desire to push boundaries and challenge norms. They played in basements and garages, far from the mainstream and the scrutiny that came with it. Their music was raw and unfiltered, a reflection of their untamed spirit and relentless drive. But it was their decision to conceal their identities that set them apart. The masks they wore were more than a gimmick, they were a symbol of their refusal to conform, a statement of intent that added a layer of intrigue to their performances. With faces hidden behind grotesque masks, they allowed their music to speak for itself, creating an atmosphere of mystery and anticipation that only amplified their appeal. Behind these masks, they were free to experiment, to push their music to the extreme, and to create something that was uniquely their own. They were no longer just Sean Crahan and Joey Jordison. They were Slipknot, a force of nature ready to take the heavy metal scene by storm. And so, from a humble basement in Iowa, Slipknot was born, ready to unleash their unique brand of chaos onto the world. This was the birth of Anarchy, the genesis of a band that would go on to redefine heavy metal and influence a generation of musicians. But this was just the beginning, the best, as they say, was yet to come. Slipknot's journey from the underground to the limelight was nothing short of meteoric. Their rise to fame began with the release of their self-titled debut album in 1999. This album, a sonic assault of aggressive rhythms and guttural vocals, catapulted them onto the global stage. It was a clarion call to all those who felt disenfranchised and misunderstood, a raw and unfiltered expression of anger and rebellion. It resonated deeply with fans, who saw in Slipknot a reflection of their own frustrations and angst. The concerts were a spectacle unto themselves. Imagine a sea of fans, their faces hidden behind masks, bodies slamming into each other in the chaotic dance of the mosh pits. This was not just a concert, it was a catharsis, a collective purging of pent-up emotions. The energy was palpable, the sense of unity, undeniable. To be at a Slipknot concert was to be part of a tribe, a community bound by a shared love for heavy metal. This was the magic of Slipknot. They took the raw primal energy of heavy metal and amplified it, creating a unique experience that was as much about the music as it was about the shared sense of belonging. Their music was raw, their performances were unruly and the world was hooked. Behind the aggressive music and the masks, the band members were battling their personal demons. The year was 2010, a year that would forever be etched in the annals of Slipknot's history. It was the year they lost their brother, their bassist, Paul Gray. The news of his passing sent shockwaves through the band and their fan base. Gray wasn't just a member of Slipknot, he was a part of its soul. His untimely death due to an overdose was a tragic reminder of the personal struggles that often hide behind the spotlight. The band was left with an irreplaceable void, a deep wound that would never fully heal. The world mourned with them, sharing their loss and their pain. But amidst the grief, something stirred within the remaining members. The loss was profound, but it only made them more determined to honor their fallen brother. They would continue to make music, not just for themselves, but for Paul. Resilience is the cornerstone of Slipknot's journey. This is a band that has never shied away from pushing boundaries, from experimenting with their sound, and from defying expectations. After the tragic loss of bassist Paul Gray, the band's evolution became a testament to their resilience. They dove deep into their craft, using music as a means to cope, to heal, and to honor their fallen brother. This period marked the creation of some of their most critically acclaimed work. They released Vol 3, The Subliminal Verses, and All Hope Is Gone, albums that showcased their ability to evolve and innovate. Vol 3, The Subliminal Verses, 
was a departure from their previous sound, incorporating more melodic elements and showcasing their versatility. It was a risk, but one that paid off, earning them their first Grammy Award. All Hope Is Gone followed suit, delving even deeper into experimental territory. It was a raw and honest reflection of their struggles, but also a beacon of hope, a statement that they were not defeated, but merely evolving. This evolution wasn't just musical, it was a transformation of spirit, a testament to their resilience. It was a message to their fans and to the world that they were not just survivors, but artists who could thrive amidst chaos and loss. Through their music, Slipknot showed the world that they could evolve and thrive, even in the face of adversity. In 2019, Slipknot took a step that no one saw coming. After years of hiding behind masks, they chose to reveal part of their true selves to the world. It was a bold move, a departure from the enigmatic personas they'd cultivated since their formation. This unexpected unmasking wasn't about shedding their identity. Instead, it was a testament to their evolution as a band, a symbolic representation of their journey from the underground scene to the global stage. It showed their fans that beneath the aggressive music and chaotic performances, they were humans with stories to tell. The decision to partially unmask was a turning point in their career, opening a new chapter in the Slipknot story. It was a powerful statement, a brave act of vulnerability that brought them closer to their fans. With this act of vulnerability, Slipknot showed their fans a new side of themselves. Today, Slipknot stands as a titan in the world of heavy metal. The relentless aggression of their music, the raw, unfiltered emotion, the chaotic energy of their performances, all have become a symbol of rebellion and catharsis for millions. They've forged a unique path, fearlessly pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. And in doing so, they've not only left an indelible mark on the heavy metal scene, but also inspired a whole new generation of musicians. Bands today draw from Slipknot's audacious spirit, their refusal to be confined by labels, and their commitment to authenticity. But more than anything, their journey serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of music, its ability to unite, to heal, and to give voice to our deepest emotions. Slipknot's journey is a testament to their resilience and their unwavering commitment to their music and their fans.